Hey, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to show you a few useful knots that you can use around the house. First one is a bowline. Take a length of rope. We're going to do a, put a loop in it. You do your left hand over the right. Make a loop like so. And we're going to take the end of the rope. My daddy taught me this knot, and uh, he told me the, the rabbit runs up out of the hole like so and runs around the bush. The bush is being this rope here. Runs around the bush and then he runs right back into that hole he came out of. Like so. And then you just pull on it and that is a bowline. I'll tie it again one more time for you. Bowline is a useful knot. It won't slip. If you throw it around your waist, it won't choke you. And um, it's real handy, and if you put a lot of tension on it, it unties real easy. Again, left hand over right. The rabbit runs up through the hole. This is the loop you're going to end up with. Rabbit runs around the bush and goes right back through that hole he came out of. And you grab the end of the rope, and you pull, and that's a bowling. Next knot I'm going to show you is a uh, trucker's hitch. We're going to start with a bowling. And, uh, it's a useful knot. You use it to tie down cargo in the back of your truck, washing machine, dryer. I'm going to take the bowling and go up through my hitch like so. And that's connected. And we're going to take and put a simple slip knot in. Slip knot is you just take the, put a loop in the rope like so, and grab the, with your right hand, feed it through, slip knot. You know it's a slip knot when you pull on it and it comes undyed. <clears throat> Do that again, flip my hand, reach through and grab it. You, uh, <clears throat> you don't want to tie just an overhand knot like this. The problem with that knot is once you cinch it down really tight, it is hard to untie. So we're going to stick with the slip knot one more time. Make a loop and pull it through. I'm going to feed through my cleat on my truck and feed it through there. And now when I pull on it, I'm three times as strong. You can see how tight that is. Comes real handy tying down refrigerators, and washing machines, anything you have on the back of your truck. Another <clears throat> use for the trucker's hitch, you're in a pinch and you're, you need to move a, a pallet or your vehicle four-wheeler stuck in the mud, take the end of the rope. I'm gonna hook it on my hitch and take the other end of the rope I like to use a snap ring. It kind of keeps you from wearing a hole in your rope right there. Hook a snap ring on there. Like so. And I've got this end of the rope. Lay down here. Hook to a stump. Just a simple strap I had in the back of the truck. I'm going to take this end of the rope, put it back into that snap link. I got the truck in neutral. Now when I pull, I'm three times as strong. I can easily, easily move my All right, our next knot is a clove hitch. It's a knot that you see the Western Jews when they tie their horses up to the hitch. The cowboy will come up and he'll, he'll put that rope over the bar and the right's on the right and the left's on the left. You come around to the left of that and come through the hole you make. And when you tighten that down, that will not come undone. And it won't slide off the end either. It's a good knot you can throw around a log if you're dragging a log with your tractor or something. Another way to tie the clove hitch is you just make a loop, left hand over right, Make another one left hand over right. Now I got two loops. 
I put the right over the left and then you can simply lay that on top and tighten it down clove hitch. Another knot I'm going to show you is called the tugboat bowline and uh, it's a similar to the, uh, the regular bowline, it's a little different and it's tied in like an emergency situation. If a man fell overboard and you had to throw him a line, you don't want to just throw him a, an end, a empty end, you want to have a loop on the end of it. It's also handy if your boat's coming up and you need to throw it over a mooring. Um, this knot is tied in a split second. It's, it's hard to show you in slow motion, so we'll have to slow the film down for you. But you, you stand on the, your rope, you simply flip it around. that quick. Show it again to you. And it's a knot that tie, unties easily with a lot of tension. I'm holding about 22 inches in my right hand. Step on it with my right foot. My le Both palms are up. My left palm I twist like this. I'm going to fling this rope up and around and over and then I grab my right hand, the rope that's in my right hand with my left hand and I'll pull it through. I said, it's done in a, it's done in a split second. I mean, a man falls overboard, you can't take all day to, to, to tie this knot. Bowline, uh, tugboat bowline. All right, this next knot's a little trick. It always gets a lot of oohs and ahs from the Boy Scouts. It's uh, a quick way to put knots in a long climbing rope without having to pull the rope through all these overhand knots. Take the rope like so and I'm gonna make a loop just like the clove hitch. And it's about oh six inches or so. And I'm gonna pinch it at the intersection with my thumb. I do another one, right hand over left, hold it with my thumb, right hand over left, right hand over left, right hand over left. The more you make, the more knots you have in your rope. That's enough for now, and then you can see I got a hole through here. I'm going to reach through that hole and grab the end of my rope and pull it through. I'm going to have my cameraman hold that for me. And as I slowly back away, you end up with a series of knots. And uh, if you got a hundred feet of rope, you could do all of it that way. This always gets a, always the crowd pleaser. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks.